An effort to fight organized retail crime in California will send millions of dollars to the Bay Area. And right now we're learning more about San Francisco's plan for the money. Hello, I'm Gloria Rodriguez. And I'm Kristen Z. Thanks for joining us. This is the largest single investment to fight retail crime in Golden State history, sending $267 million worth of grant money to 55 cities and counties across the state. ABC 7 News reporter Lena Howland is live with a breakdown of how much some local cities are are expecting. Good morning, Lena. Good morning. Just moments ago, we heard San Francisco Police Chief Bill Scott and San Francisco District Attorney Brooke Jenkins speaking in a press conference alongside other law enforcement agencies from across the state. And they both talked about how this funding is meant to provide some relief to businesses like these here in the Union Square shopping district that have been hit hard, particularly by retail theft. The San Francisco Police Department will be getting a little bit more than $15 million. Chief Scott said today that money will not be used to hire more officers, but it will allow them to bring in existing officers on overtime to supplement their workforce and boost crime prevention efforts. Another $2 million is going to the city's district attorney's office. Jenkins said that money will allow her office to have a dedicated prosecutor and a dedicated investigator fully dedicated to this issue of organized retail theft. Viral videos of thieves ravaging stores in San Francisco have taken over the narrative of our beautiful city. We plan to use this funding to work with our district attorney and our highway patrol, as well as our federal partners, to build cases, to hold those accountable that has been terrorizing our, our merchants, terrorizing our, our shoppers, our, the workforce who work in these retail establishments. And it's really time to try to put an end to this as best we can. This funding will go a long way to do that. Now, we did ask Mayor Breed about this at Dreamforce yesterday. She said the city's focus is not just on the higher end shops here in Union Square, but also on pharmacies and grocery stores. Three other Bay Area District Attorney's offices are each getting $2 million. Those offices are in Alameda, Santa Clara, and Sonoma counties. And three other local law enforcement agencies are getting money too $15 million to the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office, $11 million to the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Office, and $8 million to the San Jose Police Department. And back here live in San Francisco, Chief Scott told us that people can expect to see more officers out here on foot patrols, more officers in plain clothes, and also some improved technology for the department. Live in San Francisco, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.